Um, just getting the whole process started. I mean, there's a lot of things going on in my mind for the past you know, two months with the whole decision to go and uh, finish in school. And now the, the real action starts on the court, uh, working out and preparing myself mentally and physically for um, the workouts and uh, the combine. So that's, that's what I'm most look, uh, looking forward to. I'm trying to set my own uh, style of play, I think. Um, I think I have a lot more to offer, you know, combo-wise. Uh, there's talks with Steve Nash, maybe. I'm not as, as quick as he is, but, uh, you know, I can shoot it like he can. And uh, hopefully I can work on my playmaking ability and, and making my teammates better like he does and, uh, you know, go from there. Um, not really, just with, with school out of the picture, it's a lot more focused. Um, I wake up in the morning, and that's all I'm thinking about is um, how am I going to make myself a better player? I don't have to go to class, you know, um, those kind of things. So 24-7, it's you know, geared towards basketball, um, and I'm, I'm loving every bit of it, you know, uh, tweaking things here and there, uh, you know, trying to get four solid meals a day, lift a certain way, um, work on certain things on the court, and, and uh, make myself a better player. Still in the workings, uh, I've got it down to Octagon uh, and a, a local company here, uh, CSL. So um, nothing's official. I'm gonna uh, make that decision pretty soon, probably in the next uh, 24 hours. So uh, looking very excited about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna be up there uh, for two weeks in, in Washington D.C. Um, you know, training up there with uh, a guy named Edon and. Um, working on the court in the weight room and then uh, doing some speed and agility, trying to make myself quicker uh, and, and prepare myself for the test if they'll run at the combine. You work with Chris Paul when he's a rookie. Um, a couple other guys who are in the draft this year are up there right now, so I have a good group of guys to, to work against and with um, on the court. So uh, he, he's very established. Um, no. I pay attention to what people say, um, guys who are analysts and people who um, you know watch a lot of players and, and can assess. And um, there's a lot of things that you know a lot of doubters out there, so I can't um, buy into it a lot. I'm just what I see in my game is uh, working on uh, just decision making uh, and, and on the defensive end. You know, really uh, forcing myself to you know or focus on that. Uh, during uh, my workouts and things like that, so um, that's a, a personal or personal driven thing uh, for me. Uh, I've heard talks about that. I don't know exactly um, what actually has been said or if it's all hearsay that right now. But uh, if uh, you know the Knicks is where I land, that'd be a great spot for me. Um, you know, just a team that I can go in and, and help. So. I don't know if they're legitimate or not, but um, at least my name's out there talking. That's something I, I would definitely appreciate. I mean, um, an open court where you can you have freedom to make plays and um, with, with guys around you who buy into that system as well and, and can get up and down up and down the floor in our athletic. Um, that it's proven to work, and so uh, it'd be nice to play in that kind of system. I watch it every night I can. Uh, chat, the West Coast games are tough with the <laughs> you up to one or two in the morning, but uh, I love how the Cavs are playing right now. Um, as a whole, you know, LeBron's doing his thing, but uh, as a team, they're really you know, stepping up to the plate, not having any uh, missteps. Um, and, you know, sweeping everybody they played so far, so they're they're fun to watch, and they look like they're having fun out there doing what they're doing. Yeah, I've been working. Um, I've been working with the Davis and show the, the Austin Bell who produced it. Uh, There's a student-run variety show on campus, and um, since it started my sophomore year, I've been you know in and out of, of working with those guys and and trying to have some fun and extracurricular activity, I guess you could call it. And um, about a month ago, me, Steve Rosser on our team and a couple other athletes uh, just listened to the I Love College song and we have a cafeteria called Commons and somebody came up with the idea, let's make a song. So it took about a week to 
you know, write the lyrics and make the video. So just something fun to do. And we didn't expect it to blow up like that, um, but it was well produced and I hope people liked it. The outpost might be open later, but Allison cannot play the tater. Chest is de jour is all I'm here for. Skip class today, and all I could say is, um. That comments last night was awfully crazy. I stayed there so late. Some chocolate froyo, big head burrito. I have about three plates.